Those who say Congress cannot get anything done because of partisanship may be interested in this story. It involves members of both parties working together to honor and provide for the troops. Here's Lucas Tomlinson. Since 2003, Operation Gratitude has delivered over 3 million care packages to deployed forces. We honor the service. We try to do all that we can to bring joy. Janice Chance, who lost her son in Afghanistan, joined a group of bipartisan lawmakers at the D.C. Armory to show their gratitude. From the political standpoint, I think this is important for Americans to see. We've got Republicans, Democrats, no matter whether we're getting past impeachment, January 6th, you name the contempt issue, we're willing to sit that aside and focus on our men and women downrange. Well, I'm a proud veteran and a proud member of Congress here to help serve our troops. Uh, our troops are fighting overseas every single day today uh, in the longest war in American history, and a lot of Americans have forgotten about that. Well, we haven't. And regardless of what side of the aisle we may fall on, uh, we're all Americans first. The Four Country Caucus is a bipartisan caucus, uh, approximately half Republican, half Democrat, and we're all bound by our, our uh, our service to our country in uniform and we come from all branches in all parts of the country and we are here to serve. Thank you. It took over a hundred years for a World War I memorial to open in the nation's capital. It took roughly 60 years for a World War II memorial. But for one Gold Star mom and many lawmakers, a memorial is needed in D.C. to honor the thousands killed in combat since the 9-11 attacks. Let's get it done. Let's get this memorial up so when people drive past, they will know that memorial is because someone died for my freedom. Everyone get one. For a few hours on Capitol Hill, both sides of the aisle came Thanks, together. Sir. Thank you, sir. In Washington, Lucas Tomlinson, Fox News. Need more of that bipartisan action.